So we're back with another video. I know last week we did things I hate about my G35, but today we're gonna do things I love about my G35. Five things in particular, so let's get into them. Okay, so the first thing I really love about my G35, actually G35s in general, is the sound of them. Now on mine, I have it pretty much stock. You can, you can just kind of walk, keep walking. I have mine pretty much stock, except uh, light and flywheel, but for exhaust wise, I'm talking about exhaust when I say sound. Sound system is mediocre. The exhaust though, is a Nismo S-Tune exhaust from Japan. Sounds really nice. It's just a very unique sound that these VQs give off. VQs. <laughs> Good one. It's, a, it's just a really nice sound that these VQs get off. It's a very distinct tone and I really enjoy it and so do a lot of people in the community. You can hear them from miles away and know exactly what kind of car they're driving. I wonder how he got his license sometimes. So along with the exhaust comes the power. The power from this engine is really fun. About about 280 to 290 horsepower with about similar torque specs. And it's just a good amount of power to have fun with it in the streets. You're not going to break drivetrains. You're not going to go through tons of tires. And with the sound and the power, it just makes a lot of fun to drive. Uh, people will try to race you a lot. Uh, so if you're into that, good for you. If you're not, like me, I don't know. Watch them gap you. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get taken to gap <laughs> Are you trying to get pussy? Are you trying to get laid? Well, this car, not for you. You're just going to get a lot of dicks looking at you. If you want that, get a Ferrari. <laughs> But, oh. but, 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 one thing I do like about it, uh, it's a good looking car for 2003, the body lines are kind of cool, um, it's not super special now, but in 2003 it looked really cool, and now it's great for the money, okay. So, one more thing that I really like about my G is the seats. Now, I have to take really long road trips about... 300 miles, so about six hours, a little over 300 miles. And these seats hold up great. Now, when I get in them, we've got, oh, oh big doors. Uh, we've got really good side bolstering. We've got the rip that we talked about earlier and good, good deep bolstering. Uh, they move back and forth on power, so power sheets are really cool. They wish they had memory, but they don't. And then uh, we got some good lumbar supports here. They're adjustable. And we got our headrests, but they're just good, comfortable seats for long road trips, basically. So one really cool thing about the G35 and 350 is the aftermarket community is amazing. There's so many different body panels, bumpers, rear bumpers, side skirts, spoilers, anything that you can think of for this car, there's an aftermarket part for that. Headlights, everything. So that's really fun. Also a really good way to spend tens of thousands of dollars, but it's still there, okay? It's a lot of fun, tons of aftermarket parts, which I really enjoy. So, these are the five things that I really like about my G35. Um, if you thought this video was kind of fun or interesting, subscribe and please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And I hope I can keep making some future videos. This summer will be a lot better. I will have to go back to school soon, but we'll see you at the next one. God damn, look at those fucking rims. I think those are end keys. Take a nice long look. The fuck? Street speed looking ass. What are those? Okay. Ciao. How much is he spending? 22. This boy can barely afford a McChicken, let, in, let alone fucking $25 of gas. Like, Austin? What are you doing here? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. <laughs>